welcome to my channel love is data revolution so as i discussed earlier in my previous videos so today we are going to discuss on regexp extract as well as the use case which i have told you like capitalization of the letters like uh, in the name format like for example as i have mentioned if our input is this we need our input to be this like capital letter for j and capital letter for c so without wasting any time let's get started let me connect to the lab first so lab big data labs are available from itversity which i use so it's really good you can you guys can subscribe to that and lab subscription and get the access and obviously you need to pay for it but the like the service provided by them is really great which i'm using it from past three to four months it's really great so link i will give in the description below my video so you guys can check it out so let's get started i will connect to the hive console let's give it a moment okay i will be in my default database only i'm currently in hive let me see if my queries are executing properly just to check yeah so everything is fine we are good to go now what we can do with regexp extract so this is not a very common uh, like it's kind of very advanced stuff so we don't use, uh, use this in a common basis but it's a good to know stuff so i will just give you a few examples and you guys can uh, like go through this so first check the implementation of it Describe function function name. Okay, so it's regexp extract. So this is my syntax. Let's give extended. So you can see this is my extended. Uh, and it's telling like uh, this is the syntax we have this value this is my delimiter the regexp expression like our string is this one our delimiter is this regexp is this and id is an optional argument it's trying to fetch the first id but according to me this query is not proper and it's not fetching any results as you guys can see here i will just see it's not printing any results so it's from hive point of view there is some mistake in their documentation so they might need to correct it uh, and you guys may raise this issue and but anyways maybe there is some issue in in this syntax or some typo is there okay we will figure this out later but let's see how we can implement it so i have already written down the query and you guys can see in my left side i have my editor and i have already written down the query in order to save time so let's do this okay we will be doing this without any optional argument okay we need to close the bracket and start okay so what i am doing here is if you guys can see let me increase the screen yeah so what i am doing here is i am using this function as this is my input string and this is my regex what i am telling is fetch all words starting from w till the end so it gave me this so this is how you can like perform this kind of operations so also if what you can do is for example let me check with this one let me check another one okay so here you cannot i i think some wildcard entry issue is there so let's give t dot star so what it gave okay it give me everything now in case i don't need everything i just need from only one to three needs to be printed i will give one dot star so you guys can see i can get all one to three values but i don't know why we cannot give like this way like all characters whichever is present from zero to nine should be displayed so it 
only gives me one i think this one so we can cross check it by changing the value to nine so it should give me nine yeah it's only printing the first letter so if i in case try to give here star for example dot star let's see excellent so with dot star we can fetch 9 to 3 any letter from 0 to 9 sorry any number from 0 to 9 it will fetch fetch me this 923 in the input data so same way what you can do is for for example if i give test test sorry in caps let me give and here i will give a to z and a to z dot star okay why it shouldn't be okay it gives me this way so what i can do is instead of a to z i can give this a to z dot star okay for a to z star i am getting the 9 to 3 as well like anything after so in that case what i will do is i can change the position of 9 to 3 let me change the position of 9 to 3 and give here a b c now let's see what it gives me okay again it's showing me everything so this is a bit odd so anyways we will check this out so i hope you guys basically know like what we can do but i won't suggest using regex pre extract instead you guys can always go for substring i would suggest for extraction substring is the best part you can do so without wasting any time now let's go out for another function which i will show you so uh, this is our second implementation which we will be going to showcase so our this is our input data for example input data this is our output data so you can see it is not in the proper name format but we want like for every word the first letter should be in caps so we have a direct function in hive it's applied for example select init cap with the name if you give the name as John Cena and you can see yeah J in caps C in caps we have this init function which initialize the capital letter that we called as init cap this is one more function you guys got to learn but in case we do not want to use this and rather we want to apply an algorithm or sorry not algorithm it's kind of a small snippet so how can you do it in a query like without using functions we will be using functions but not like init cap instead we will be using this syntax so i will be explaining this syntax so just check this so what is our data first do a select let be our data be john Cena, right okay so we got our data our first objective is to fetch j and c so what we will do is we will first split the data right first part will be split the data now select split instead of zero we will give this so we have the list john cena so this is in zeroth index this is in first index you can always verify by just giving here zero okay you got john and if i give here one you will get seen so i hope this is clear so now we have our 
data in the list right now we need to fetch our first uh, first first we need to uh, like uh, implement the solution for john then singer then we have to concat this two now this will give me j john so now we need to fetch j out of it so what we will do we will apply substring on top of it to fetch only j as you know substring j is in zeroth position and what will be the length only one will be my length from zeroth position till first position whatever is there you fetch it so i should get give me j so you guys can see it's j now when i get j what i need to do i need to use upper function of it i need to upper the j so i will just apply upper so now I got capital J right so now since I got uh, J in caps I need to apply the remaining letters I need to concat so that it becomes John with J caps so what I will do is I will just need to use the other letters I need to again split with this I will explain Sorry, my bad. Some just give me a moment. Okay, my bad. So we have substring, we have the upper, we have to split again, we have to do a substring of two, comma, we need to give the length. What we need to fetch is length of split of John Cena with space as my delimiter. I am fetching the first record. minus one right i hope you guys got it right see what i'm doing is i am fetching till here i think it's clear for you guys right now what i'm doing is i am just fetching ohn how can i fetch ohn first i need to fetch john then on top of it i need to apply substring from second position to the length of the string will be till last so till last will be length of john minus one because j is already appended so i hope this is clear guys this is all simple stuff so now you can see we have so much of space between this so why this space is coming so we need to figure out right so just a moment just a moment okay great now what we need to do is whatever we have applied we just need to apply the same just need to apply the same for Cena because already for John we have got our results but for Cena we need to apply again so what I will do is we'll just copy paste this snippet in order to save some time. What I will do is just try to okay. okay guys let me clear the screen. Just let me copy from here, here to here. Okay. I'm 
miss my select part yeah great let's see what it gives so you can see i have gap between john and c we got our results but some way we are not able to like what can i say the uh, like we are getting very like many spaces between the data so what we need today do is we need to remove this space so how can we remove this space what we can do is first whatever we have here right got it we just need to use the concat function so it will remove the space and it will just append the data so guys i know it is bit difficult and tricky for you but anyways you can see like whatever init cap can do it in single line we can do it in seven lines so i hope it is clear and if it's not clear you can always mention in the comment section i i will explain you line by line again so basically you can init cap internally performs this function only but with some java code and all in the back end it produces that thing but if you see like the actual implementation in this way also we can implement the same solution for like select init cap john cena will give me the same result and this data will also this query will also give me the same result so this function is equivalent to this particular function so i hope this is clear guys if you have any issues or anything you can always like either write it down in the comment section or you guys can ping me in the linkedin thank you bye bye have a nice day and oh yeah one more thing so you guys need to see my playlist so that i will be uh, like get motivated and all and i will be uploading more and more videos uh, and uh, hive playlist is will be big and i will be covering many sections and uh, many important concepts as you guys can see i have created one excel as well like these are the functions in hive based on the category so no need to consider unknown because these are all high level functions and uh, honestly i have also never used it in my scenarios but these are all some important functions which i will be giving like for windowing function there will be a session for date functions there will be a session and for operators there will be a session and some advanced uh, sessions on masking for the string functions so guys stay connected with me subscribe my channel have a nice day bye bye thank you